Hey guys, Jesse here from the Suvi Sanctuary. Welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe in this video series. Uh, let's call it uh, the Winter Project. I'm going to be catching up on some work on my 2007 WRX. We have a lot of super cool things we're going to do. So I'm going to go through, introduce the car kind of, and introduce the, uh, the game plan here. So here we go. Here we are with this beautiful 2007 World Rally Blue WRX Limited. So uh, that puddle is me already draining the coolant and now putting it down on the ground. More coolant has decided to come out. Yeah, this is definitely quite the specimen. She is a clean machine. I got this from one of my good friends, I think about three years back. Um, he really cared for this car. Underneath is just as clean as the top. It's kind of dusty in there, but it's there. I've slowly been filling it up with assorted parts to put into the car. So these wheels I put on a while back, these, if they fit over the Brembo's, I will use these wheels because they look really nice on the car. Under the hood, we have a nice stock power plant. The only mod that my bud had done was a cat back exhaust and some uh, BC coilovers and a air pump delete. So you're wondering what are the plans for this project? Well, right here is one of them. This is a mildly built 255. It has a nitrate crank, some forged pistons. Everything's been gone through, replaced. So new oil pump bearings, uh, the heads have all been gone through. I have gone with equal length twin scroll. So we are using the factory STI VF37. We've put on a 22 PSI aftermarket wastegate so that will kick up the boost quite a bit. I still have a little bit of assembly left to do on the engine. It's been sitting on this stand for quite a while waiting for me to get to this project. Back to the car, the rest of the goods we have is a 2004 STI complete drivetrain. So I've got the rear spindles as well to use. The Brembo's front and rear, and then I have a DCCD kit, various gauges. We also have a complete uh, chassis bushing kit there from Super Pro. Again, not sponsored, like I just buy the stuff that I want to put in my car. Uh, then I have a select few body mods for this. I really like the way this car looks as is. I do have like a little rear spoiler. Um, I have the Hawkeye STI rear bumper with the integrated arch here. And then I also have the Hawkeye STI rear arches. So that's about it for the body mods. It's going to be quite subtle. I'm keeping it wingless because... I like it like that. Totally awesome. Okay, so step one is remove all the stuff that won't be staying on the car. So way back as well, I had actually put on this lip. It didn't come with it. I thought it looked cool. Here we are. It is, like I said, um, all original. It's fantastic condition underneath. It was heavily oiled through its life, which is great because it's not totally fricked with rust. It has, a, I think, a Mad Dad cat back, which is nice, super quiet. I'm going to leave that on. I like quiet. I have the rear aluminum control arms for this. I also have the front aluminum control arms for this. I've got like all new shifter linkage for my six speed. I have a complete chassis bushing kit for this car. So I'm gonna do the, uh, the full Monty here and it's gonna be pretty awesome.
And here we are, about three hours and 20 minutes later, we have got the transmission out and the motor out. It's uh, definitely been a pleasant car to work on because it is very well oiled. So everything came out super easy. We got our old motor, RIP. We got our old transmission. So here you can see we've hit a snag. We've spun the weld nut in the unibody. I'm gonna have to cut a hole through the top of the unibody to get to it. So this is the rear trailing arm. Super common spot to uh, spin the weld nut. All right, here we are with the rear seat removed up above that bolt. Just for reference, this is the little clip where the door interior trim goes to. So right here, if my calculations are correct, and they're probably not, is going to be the edge of that area where the trailing arm bolts into. So the dotted lines I'm going to cut. The solid line is where I'm going to bend it back. Um, I'll get the nut and bolt out. I'll weld the nut back in, close this up, weld it back up. So there we are at our spun weld nut. So now we're just gonna put a socket on that and undo it. All right, we got it off. You can see how the weld nut has broke. I'm not gonna to touch it because it will be pretty hot. So now I'm gonna to have to clean up in there, uh, weld that little nut back down and close this hole back up. And then I'll definitely spray some uh, wax or oil in there to uh, calm that little bit of rust there. got the diff brace out, um, came out without issue. But as you can see, I've got some cleaning to do under it. Off camera, I took all these parking brake brackets off, put oil behind them and anti-seized the bolts because I don't really need to do anything with the parking brake cable. So one thing I originally wasn't planning was dropping the gas tank. The gas tank is in great shape, but that up there, is some surface crustiness that I don't really like. So I am gonna drop the gas tank.
Alrighty dudes, well this is the end of uh, part one on this car. It's gonna be a four part till its completion and I'm gonna go over kind of where we ended at and what's next. So the Brembo's are all stripped, so now they're gonna go to powder coating. These are the original control arms. These are actually gonna go on my uh, bug-eyed wagon to give it some girth. Uh, the front subframe, I swapped out the front sway bar for the 20 mil STI. The front subframe, I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna use it because it's the round style. And I was gonna use a STI rack, which is the square mount. So I'm gonna see if I can get an appropriate subframe there. We've got the rear end here, all stripped down, all the bushings out. Again, for the rear, I'm swapping out the WRX sway bar and using the 19 mil STI sway bar. We've got our front spindles here. Uh, I stopped at removing the ball joint because I was worried about breaking this bolt. I really hate drilling them out. So I'm gonna bring these up to the shop and use the torch to get that out. We've got our super cool uh, rear STI spindles. Again, I didn't feel comfortable trying to buzz these bolts out, so I'm gonna bring them to the shop, use some heat, get them out, get that final bushing out. I have new backing plates, new bearings, etc., to go into these. Uh, and then here's our uh, front rack dilemma. So this is the 07 WRX. As you can see, it's round. It doesn't use a mount there. It has bushings built into the rack. A little brace here like it does a really good job but it's just not the quick ratio this one is nearly similar to the STI but it's not so these ones have square on the top um, I do have enough bushings to do the square style or the circle style but I'm really adamant on using the STI rack to get the quick ratio the valve body is nice and dry, which is key. I've already ordered all new power steering lines for this rack, which don't fit on this rack. So I'm definitely set on using this rack. So I'm gonna try and find a appropriate front subframe to uh, utilize this guy rather than the WRX one. All right, that finishes up part one. And what is next for part two? Let me grab a flashlight here. So we're gonna be Cleaning up the chassis in part two, which I mean, it's relatively rust free. That's probably like the worst spot, some surface rust under the rear subframe. I can see that up above the gas tank. So I'm gonna drop the gas tank to do a really good job of cleaning it. All this rust is gonna be removed and restored. Uh, anywhere else there is kind of rust activity. So a bit on the rocker there, we'll clean that up under the trailing arms, etc., And then we will be bringing down the six speed, cleaning up the transmission, the axles, the drive shaft. And by the end of part two, we'll put the transmission back in the car. So the engine bay for the most part just needs some serious degreasing and that should take care of that. And looking forward to moving on. So while I'm doing all that, all the stuff will be up at powder coating. Alrighty guys, well thank you for watching. Make sure if you haven't to like and subscribe to see how this thing turns out. It's gonna be pretty awesome, totally awesome.